Tsukini ka wa te oshakyo. Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl Sakura One here, and I have all my Sailor Moon plushies out for a reason. We have recently had a very important announcement concerning the new Sailor Moon anime that is supposed to be coming out. But before I get to that, I figured I would go over everything that has been happening with this project. I've kind of been following it since it was announced because I love Sailor Moon. I'm a huge fan. I did watch it so much as a kid, but I couldn't appreciate it. But now that I've dug into it and know all of the history behind it, I love it so much more than as a kid. But I have my notes right here, so let me get started and go over everything that went on with this project. The first thing to take note of. This new anime project was announced at the 20th anniversary event in Japan. They said that it would be a new adaptation closer to that of the manga storyline. Memorial Clover Z was announced to be doing the new theme song for this project. And finally, the claim was it would be out summer 2013. That came and went. No news, no nothing. It did not come out. Then, Kodansha said it was going to be delayed from summer 2013 to winter 2013. And then it was said it would most likely come out sometime in January some point towards, I want to say the end of January, possibly the beginning of February, Toei themselves, the company who did the first one and is doing this one, like I said, the previous announcement was from Kodansha, so it wasn't from Toei officially, but Toei officially came out at that point and said that it would be ready and out by July 2014. That is the hope. We have heard nothing more about another change in the release in the release date. So far, that's the set release date now, and I think that it's actually going to happen this time due to this recent announcement. That announcement is March 13th, which was last Thursday. The first image and title was released for this new anime. I found it on Anime News Network, um, but it apparently was also on the Sailor Moon official website, along with some sort of countdown. We don't know what that countdown was for. I guess the speculation for now is that's when the image was supposed to be leaked and shown, but apparently it got out sooner. But that's fine with me, of course. And the new title is Bisojo Senshi Sere Moon Crystal, which is really a cool title. I like it. And th the picture. The art style is very close to the manga. It looks beautiful. Usagi in the photo looks absolutely incredible. It is unknown if it's an official promotional image from the anime itself, it's unknown if that's exactly what it's going to look like. It could be a promotional picture drawn by Naoko herself. We don't know that quite yet, but just to get a glimpse is just amazing. Now with this project, even back in 2012 they said Naoko is going to be more involved this time around and it will most definitely be much more closer to the manga storyline which did have several changes for the anime and especially for the English adaptation. But as I said in my Sailor Moon collection video, my very first ones, I like both. Severe changes were made but my thought on it is it was just required by the laws at the time. But anyway. We finally know what it's hopefully going to look like, 
and the title, which is absolutely amazing. For now, we have to stand by for more information, but the good thing is Naoko is going to be much more involved in this. I know she did disapprove of a lot of the changes made, especially to Sailor Moon Stars, which I have not watched yet, I will be honest, because um, obviously that did not have a USA release. I'm right now watching all the subtitled version. I've seen all of the English, so <laughs> uh, I sat through Linda Ballantine's really bad voice for Serena or Usagi. <laughs> I prefer Terry Ox much more, but anyway. So far, that is what we know. Now, I am ecstatic about this. Ah, before I forget, silly me, this is very important. Um, obviously Japan is going to get this anime on TV and online, but we will also have access to it as well. Us here in America and Europe, I think, we will all somehow have access to this. They are going to be streaming it on Nico Nico, um, which is, I guess, their YouTube over in Japan. They are going to be streaming it from there, so we will have access to it with subtitles. Now, as far as an English adaptation, nothing at all has been said yet. However, I'm hoping that they do get someone to come and dub it in English. Why? Because the English adaptation, the original one, is very highly frowned upon. People do not like it. Most people I've heard, they just say, go watch the subtitled version because the English one stinks. Like I said, I don't, I don't mind it. I like both versions. But this would be a second chance to have it dubbed in English properly. As far as voice actors, there are two that I really want to come back. One, Terry Hawks, who played Usagi. She was the second one. Um, Tracy Moore was the very first Serena we had. Terry was the second one. And she was perfect. Her voice was just right. And I want Stephanie Beard to come back. She was obviously the voice of Rini, or Chibusa, for Sailor Moon S and Super S. An actress called Tracy Hoyt is the one who voiced her in Sailor Moon R. And in my opinion, she sounded much too old to be Chibusa. Stephanie Beard's voice was absolutely perfect. The tone of her voice and Chibiusa's Japanese voice actress were very, very close. So she sounded like a little kid, like how Chibiusa is supposed to sound. So those are the two that must return. Um, and um, Sailor Jupiter's voice actor. That voice was perfect for her. I, her name escapes me. Um, Susan Roman. She needs to come back as... Um, Makoto, or she was known as Lita here. Um, Minako, Amy, and Ray, um, I'm not sure about. But Katie Griffin, um, as Ray, I don't know if she was Ray in Sailor Moon, um, the first season and second, or she was in Sailor Moon S and Supers. I'm not sure which one she was in, but whichever one she was in, um, she was a good Ray. I just don't remember which one it was, the Deke or the Clover Way. Um, I think Stephanie Morrickstern, I'm not sure if she was the first, Mina, or the second. She should be Minako again. A lot of the old voice cast was pretty good. Luna's was, Artemis. I liked most of the dub casts that were in the Deke dub. The Clover Way, I hated Linda Ballantine. She sounded terrible. She was a little bit better in Supers, but not really. <laughs> um, Amy's voice actor, I liked her a little bit more in the deep dub, to be honest. Um, but otherwise, that is what we know. That is what I'm hoping will happen after, of course, it finishes airing in Japan because they have to get it before we will. But I really, really hope for a second chance in an English version. As to who should do it, I say Viz Media. They have dubbed Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, 
Inuyasha, and those dubs are nearly perfect. So, extremely little was changed for those shows. So that is what I am hoping for. Funimation, I'm not so sure about. But, again, that's what we know. I can't wait for more news. And until then, thank you for watching.